there's someone one more thing that you want as you are very particular about um um, um solar panel and um and solar energy so and, and and i'm saying that solar energy you know although it's good i think africa can power the rest of the world africa is large enough and it generates has a lot of sun rays per time you know per area that if i if we capture all of these things then we can power the rest of the world literally africa africa is blessed in so many ways literally blessed like really 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 blessed um um but we are not really we are, we are, we are not tapping into that potential um 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 so the solar panel the problem the problem with solar panel is that the energy that you can capture per time meaning that every single time the, what we do is it captures energy per time and then it stores it in the energy bank in a battery or in an inverter you know those sort of things so the energy that you can capture per time, okay, is dependent on how big the solar energy panel is because it's dependent on an area, okay? So um, that for me, um, a lot of people, and it's actually expensive too. So that, 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 that is not really scalable in Africa, given the amount of money that people, an average person is making. And maybe, you know, maybe if you can commercialize it, Meaning that um, if you can have a company in which they drag, they're dragging, they're, they're extracting the energy through solar panel, and then they're supplying a, a small community, you know, instead of using NEPA, you know, they're supplying a small community um, that pay them directly, you know, um, the, the electricity. But if that is not really scalable, you know, you know, because they, they will need to actually have a large amount of land, you know, to to. To, to, to make sure that they have a large amount of solar panel and each square meter of a solar panel is actually very expensive as well. So, and it's also expensive too, if you actually see, if you actually look at the fact that the, the production process is made in the West. So that means that the, the amount of money, the supply chain, the money that goes into it shows the value of the labor force. I mean, it shows the amount of money of the labor force. So therefore, they're going to sell it at a price that, that to balance the amount of money they're paying the labor force. And in Nigeria, we're using Naira. And Naira, if you compare Naira to dollar today, is actually expensive, like really expensive. So, and you're, it's sort of like, I'm not sure if you understand what I'm trying to say here. You're making something in the West that people here cannot really afford. The, the, amount, the amount of money you pay talent in the West is actually very, very large. From the perspective of someone that is making Naira in Nigeria, and these are the people that will pay for that solar panel. So, or uh, you know, and that was, which is going to be different if you're making solar panel down here in Nigeria, and then you're paying, you know, in an equivalent amount that that match with the Naira, you know, and the people, more people will be able to afford these things. But in order for this to happen, the talent themselves need to have the technological know-how. So it goes back to making sure that we have the intellectuals and the researchers and the technology to provide the right space for them, for them to thrive and for them to provide the right infrastructures for the entire system to, 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 to work. If, if, we ha if we have technology people and the, and the scientists and et cetera, we have better internet, we have, the internet should be cheaper too. You know, it should be cheaper. And if 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 we if we have them, if 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 the air two is correct, you know, because there's a lot of corruption and things that going on, if we can remove those things and if we actually collaborate genuinely from our heart, you know, you know, we will be able to move innovations and solutions from the research stage through the engineers, through the commercial, and everybody benefit at, at the price that everybody down here can afford. You know, like it, and it, it's different. From, if I'm an entrepreneur in Nigeria and I'm trying to afford a talent to work with my company in the UK and US, that's going to be really expensive for me. Then, you know, maybe I'm starting in Nigeria and I have talent in Nigeria. I may be able to, uh, you know, aff afford that because of the ratio of the Naira to dollar or Naira to pounds. So, um, and, and you know, these, are, these things come into the, the energy and the technology environment as a whole. We cannot remove this economics from how it's affecting us technologically. So, of course, the, the, the argument come back to um, the part that we are trying to avoid, which is, which is the government, no? Because it's only the government that is rich enough that have the money to be able to invest in such infrastructure. But it happened now that 
they are uh, a rogue kind of criminal said said criminal who keep on uh, awarding the contract to themselves they never do the project because they want to <laughs> use this as a racket next time to tell you ah we don't there is no there is no Wait. power <laughs> so vote for us so that we'll fix it and they, again they will reaward the contract <laughs> back to themselves again and they, because they treat nigerian people i think the best politician who have been able to capture the real essence of what is happening in Nigeria is Tinubu. And that was the message he said when he was saying, uh, Amala, uh, you, will vote, you will get, uh, uh, what is it? You, you will get moi moi, or you will get, uh, uh, are you hungry? That is yeah. how the politicians see Nigerian people. Mm -hmm. They what? see them as hungry, degraded, ignorant, nonsense people. So they can do to them whatever they like. Nobody can hold mm -hmm. them accountable. Yeah. Yeah. That, that is a great picture. That, we need to keep that one for, for memory. Oh, yes. I, I, I think I think they, they don't only see them like as those, or they don't only see us as I would say them, us. Because I'm in Nigeria, I'm Nigerian, so they don't only see us like that. But instead, they are also engineering it. I don't know if you, you know, they're intentionally keeping people impoverished so that they can come back and say this because they can use, literally use hunger to control people, and that is literally what they want. They use the hunger to keep themselves in power. So, so um, you know, I, 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 I just now this, it goes back to what I'm saying. Like, you cannot have someone that you cannot you cannot have a group of people who are genuinely at their core driven by God and be comfortable with that. Because I do what I think. You cannot love God and not love people. <laughs> yeah, it's it's, it's obvious. You know, if you, you know, I'm, I'm, you cannot love, you know, it's like, then they're, they're mutually, they're not mutually exclusive. You That's know, it. They're it's not true. mutually exclusive. They're not mutually exclusive. So, you know, I, I'm, that is why I think if you really want to, like, change um, the, the country, we, stop, I mean, we also need to stop looking at religion, but look at a person. You know, we need someone that is godly first, you know, um, you know, so someone that is um, that is deep rooted in in God for us, you know, I may be biased because some people don't care about God. I'm talking, you know, I mean, I mean, the atheists may think, oh, I'm ignorant, you know, you know, but you know, God to as an idea, okay, I'm going to say, if God as an idea keep you in check, you know, it, it keeps you, you know, if if you're strong in that, it keeps you in check in so many things that I know I'll be comfortable. If I know that you're a God person, I'll be comfortable in you telling me the truth, in you, in you leading me, because you would not want to offend God, right? Absolutely. To... <laughs> I was suggesting the other day that maybe when we are voting in the, the, the politician, when we are swearing them in, instead of using the Quran and the Bible, would you start taking them? If you are coming from uh, maybe from Imo State or from Enugu, we take you to the shrine of Amadi Oha. That is where we are going to swear you in as the governor. Ah. Then we swear that if you if you no, steal that the, is too much. I'm not saying that. <laughs> that is what I wish. That is what I'm suggesting because they will respect well, that one because I, I, they know I, I, that Amadeo how we strike them dead if they if they if they I, I, eat I, I, the money of the I people. Think, I think that's a good idea. But yeah. um, I I think that's a good idea. I think. <laughs> well, I'm saying I that. <laughs> no, I think I actually think that's a good idea. You know, but um. You know, like based on my own um, ba uh, background and natural bias, you know, and according to what I was taught, is um, the God that I think is the true God is against, you know, those type of movement, Amadi Oha and you know, idol worshiping. You know, so I may be wrong. I'm open. I know that there's some Africans that think, okay, that is wrong. That's the colonial mindset and those sort of things. So I'm open minded. You know, but I'm still so. Uh, like, all right, me, me. I'm biased. one of the people that believe that that is a colonial mindset, but it's okay. I, 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 I think you are right to hold your opinion on that. I'm not going to criticize you for no, that. I'm, I'm but in my view, mind, I think that is a colonial I'm mindset. Open-minded. No, no, I'm open-minded, but I'm still kind of biased. I'm not sure if you get what I mean here. I'm open-minded that I could be wrong, but I'm still like biased because of my own many years of programming and belief systems and etc but i'm still sort of like well i could also be wrong and I, I open my ears to understand the other side that doesn't agree with me 